So you started working on the physical health, right? Um, and the mental health is the key component for the physical health. At one part of your journey now, did you realize you had to start working on the mental health? Thank you. I believe health goes all my hand. I believe mental health, physical wealth, and spiritual wealth and health all go hand in hand. It's the, it's the trifecta. So if you feel physically better, you start to feel mentally more clear. And if you're mentally more clear, then your spirit gets more intact. So it's like, if you look at uh, social media today, right? And think about it, there's a total stranger who will hop on your page and say something incredibly foul to me. Now, if you, when you start thinking about it, I look at it like this, this is a person who doesn't feel good about themselves, but hasn't accepted the fact that they don't feel good about themselves. So you become the reflection or the image or a punching bag because they don't know how to tell themselves, I don't feel good about me. I don't like myself. I don't like where I'm at. So I believe those three are totally connected. Those are totally connected. Like if you exercise and you go out for a good run or have a good day in the gym, you feel great. You see your homies, it, it transfers that energy. It's like, yo, what's up, bro? How you feeling? You're good. Love is love. Now, if I feel, if I don't feel good about myself and I feel down, I might just feel so great. So I think how you eat and how you think plays part in how your spirit is. And I wanted to ask you, man, um, I was talking to another brother during the interview and uh, we spoke about mental health being taboo in the black community, right? Why do you think it's still a taboo topic? I don't think it's taboo as much as it used to be. Because before, I'm, I'm 49, I'll be 50 next month. Yeah. When I was coming up, uh, thank you. When I was coming up, it was, that nigga's crazy. <laughs> thank you. It was just, that was the only thing they said about you. If you had some kind of mental health issue or condition, it went to automatically, uh, that nigga's crazy. I think, I don't think it's taboo. I think, uh, I can't speak on behalf of, of, of our queens in it. But I can speak on behalf of, of Black Kings. I don't think even most of us, you don't even break down what's going on with you to your best friend. Your, your closest people around with you, to you, I think just coming up in a certain area, coming up a certain way, used to just taking your problems on the chin, tucking them in the back. And unless you have a sightful a circle of friends that you're used to building with, those things don't come out. So for someone to go want to be willing and able to talk to a total stranger about their mental issues or going in therapy. I don't think it's taboo. I think it's uncomfortable for someone who hasn't even done that with people that they love that's in a, in a circle. If you're not talking to your brother, your uncle, your best friend, your cousin about your issues, how are you going to really want to speak to someone you don't know? Which actually is easier than speaking to them. So I don't think it's taboo. I think it's just an idea of uncomfortability, but we're sitting here talking about it now. Right? So it's not that type of, so we are pushing forward and moving forward when it comes to the issue. Uh, you brought up very in regards to that, that discomfort, um, mm -hmm. in regards to that. It's a very vulnerable experience when you talk to therapy. That's like, that's yes, like one of the most vulnerable things that I've ever done, right? But I noticed that like, in my whole self, I learned I was never taught to really trust it, but yeah. You get what I'm saying? And that's a fact. I think that's like one of the biggest hurdles in regards to like, I'm sharing with my deepest problems and my deepest issues. And I've never really done that before, but I need to do the fight to get better. For sure. I think it's about finding someone you could talk to. And not only that, I think it's about doing things on your, in your personal life for yourself, which will get you to that stage. Like, uh, it's okay to cry. If you feel enraged, it's okay to go outside and roll boulders against other boulders. It's okay to, it all goes back to balance. Like, if you feel sad, then it's up, it's your duty to make sure you laugh at some point. Put on something funny. Go talk with somebody funny. Go, go, go enjoy a movie. Go do something that's going to make you laugh or smile. Once you start having that balance within and say, all right, and not that anybody's perfect at it. And we would, like I said, you're going you're gonna to backslide, you're going to fall off. But if you had put it in your, in your brain that, all right, uh, I did it last night. I didn't really feel too great. I injured my knee. I wanted to do some things. I was kind of enraged that all I was going on. So I had to turn the TV off, 
put on 528AC frequency, sit there and listen to it, breathe deep, and remind myself to get out of my own head with uh, because the energy you're putting out is the energy you're going to receive back. So if I keep thinking negative down thoughts, that's exactly what's going to, I'm going to stay in that realm. I'm going to stay in that pocket. So it's about having a balance to say, okay, it's okay to feel shit. It's okay to not feel good. It's okay to have a rough day. It's okay to be in a mental place, but it's not okay to remain there. Uh, oh, and I always go back to a saying that my wife has said to me, and I always remember it. Uh, don't break down, break open. You know what I mean? So if you don't want to break down, you want to break open and get to the root cause of what's going on. You may get to it. You may not get to it. But if you continue to strive to say, here's where I'm at mentally, here's where I'm at physically, here's where I'm at spiritually. Because if you feel good physically and mentally, but your spirit's not good, do you really feel good? If you feel good spiritually, but not mentally, and like if you don't have the trifecta, you can't really say you're actually feeling good. You may think that, but you have to learn how to have the, the trifecta. Like, uh, because energy doesn't lie. Uh, a person can lie, but the energy is not going to lie in the end of the day. You can't lie to yourself about your own energy. So it's important to just keep in mind of doing things that's going to make you feel better and make your mind feel better, your heart feel better, your spirit feel better. And to know it's okay if it doesn't work and to keep trying. But if you strive for it, then here that goes. I want to ask you too, I think you've been better to you, right? Say that again. I know you're made that meditates. Yeah, yes, I know. So uh, I got a bunch of meditation within like the last year, and it's been a game changer, bro. Yes, it is. So uh, please share with the people listening um, in regards to how or your experience, how things were open to you, and you saw things a little clearer because of meditation. Well, this is saying praying is praying is when you're talking to God. Meditation is when God's talking to you. So when you meditate and you 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 get in a realm, you become kind of open to things flowing towards your way and feeling comfortable. That connection strong. Yeah, yeah, that connection gets stronger. Like uh, I'm a firm believer in manifestation. So I'm a firm believer in meditation because it's uh for years though too also before I made a rhyme, I would have to get in the space of just kind of relaxing, laying down, being calm. And just letting the thoughts flow. And I feel when you meditate, your thoughts flow when the universe is talking back to you. And uh, there's different ways of meditation. There's different forms of meditation. Uh, don't don't feel discouraged if you can't stay focused. That happens to the best of us sometimes. I think it's about breathing, relaxing, and just working on being in tune with the universe to the best of your ability. But it does it does open up a certain amount of uh, energy that makes you be able to cope with the world a little better. Right. So if you if you don't know how to meditate, just close your eyes and just try to let thoughts run out. Breathe deep. Uh, I tell people count the breaths. That's what I do. I, I take deep breaths. Uh, when I'm having a hard time, I, I count the breaths. So I start at 100. Breathe deep and just keep going down. It's gonna be by the time you get to the lower numbers or even fifty, you'll find yourself in a in a more relaxed state. So meditation is definitely uh something I suggest to everyone. 